Hi guys, it's Colette, and today we're going to be working on this green St. Patrick's Day design as part of Water Marble March. If you love nail art, be sure you're subscribed to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures, and if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. Starting out with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with the base coat. Today I'm using Hollow Taco Peely Base, and you can use whichever you prefer. The polishes that I'll be using today are from Essie. The darkest green is Going Incognito, and the lighter green is Pretty Edgy. And for my white, I'm going to be using Blanc, which I'll also be using as my base color. Once I'm done with that, I'll be protecting around my nails with tape as well as liquid latex. As usual, for a water marble, I'm working in a 5 ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. Once you've completed your bullseye, you can start drawing your design. I'm going to be drawing a flower design, but I'm not going to be worrying too much about it being symmetrical. I'm just going to pull as many lines in toward the center as I can. I'm going to be aiming to dip my thumb and pinky into this design, so I'm going to kind of eyeball where I want to dip them and then line them up and go for it. With my orange stick, I'm going to clean up the little bit of excess polish and then slowly pull them out and there's the marble. I'm going to use a tweezer to remove the protection and then I'm going to go ahead and marble the rest of my nails.
once you're done with cleanup and you've pushed any bubbles flat, you can go ahead and finish with a top coat. I'm using Seshvit as usual. So here's the finished manicure and I really love how it finally turned out. I did have two nails that I ended up re-dipping, my left ring finger as well as my right middle finger, and if you'd like to see that process you can check out the extended tutorial which will be up here on YouTube shortly. If you'd like to join me live you can come follow over at twitch.tv slash MSLP and I'd love to hear what you guys think of this one down in the comments. Let me know if you maybe preferred that first ring finger or if I made the right call on re-dipping it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a thumbs up if you did. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.